region took over and because it became no longer Niagara on the Lake and Niagara Township, it all became Niagara on the Lake. It was forced by the provincial government back in 1970. They had no option. They made us do it. And we grew from maybe 2,500 to 10,000. Uh, and what happened was the, uh, all the fire departments were made one, but they kept their identity regardless. And I became the, uh, what they called me was super chief because I had to go between the four stations all the time. And uh, it worked out very well. Uh, we had meetings with the uh, other chiefs from the uh, region, the 12 municipalities in the region. We had, uh, we had a regional fire coordinator, which coordinated all the departments in the region. And uh, we had monthly meetings, and uh, then we went to from a, a, a bell system in town. Uh, it used to be a, a lady by the name of Alish Smith, Smith, who was a paraplegic. She was uh, always on a, on a stretcher, but she ran the uh, emergency fire situation for us by telephone and radio. And uh, she had the number in those days for the fire service and everybody would phone her and say we have a problem at such and such an address uh, she automatically rang the sirens at the uh, four stations called the firefighters in and then by telephone and some, until later we got radio but by in, in the beginning it was all by telephone and then we went to radios and she handled the radio system for us and it was all dispatched by Alice 